In terms of study destinations, Australia is one of the preferred choices for international students. According to QS rankings, the country is among the top five study destinations for students seeking to do MBAs abroad. Hello and welcome to Editrainix, your best guide to help you study abroad or apply for a visa. I am Nandani Watts and today I am going to tell you about studying MBA in Australia. This is part 1 of the video. Watch the video till the end to know about Australia's top MBA universities, why should you do MBA in Australia, admission requirements, course duration and Australia MBA exams. So the Australian High Commission in New Delhi reported that around 12,86,400 Indian students were studying in Australia in November 2021, out of which 20,000 were studying for an MBA. Okay, so almost every graduate today hopes to boost his or her career by pursuing an MBA, that is Master of Business Administration. So it is definitely easier to gain a competitive edge by pursuing it from a leading international destination. And what better than Australia? So not only this, but it also gives MBA professionals a head start in their careers. However, students face a dilemma when applying to foreign universities. So to know more about it, I'll tell you about Australia's top MBA universities. Students from all over the world are attracted to Australia as one of the most sought after study destinations. So MBA aspirants choose Australia as a study destination because of its quality education, top level research opportunities and excellent career prospects. So almost all Australian business schools have the accreditations from AASB that is uh, the Association of Advanced Colleges, Schools of Business, AMBA, Accelerated Masters in Business Administration and EQUIS that is EFMD Quality Improvement System. So not only Australia but also internationally they have been ranked highly among international students. Besides this, Australia's favorable visa policies also encourage a lot of students to pursue higher education there. Australia's universities are internationally renowned and offer courses in the most widely used language that is English. So as part of their management course, there, these universities offer internship in top companies that help students gain real world experience and develop leadership skills. So university applications uh, to Australian institutions fall into two main categories. So first is in February and then it is in July. So however, this is the there is a third intake in November, but it is applicable only for a few universities. Now many aspirants are in the dilemma that why they should do an MBA in Australia. So business degrees are considered gateways to success. So it enhances the skills necessary to remain competitive and also facilitates networking. So there are many reasons for pursuing an MBA and acquiring the skills and knowledge needed to advance one's career. So here are a few of them. So in Australia, MBAs are recognized globally because of the Australian Qualification Framework's comparative qualifications. Admission to MBA programs at Australian University may or may not be based on GMAT scores. So working 40 hours while studying MBA in Australia is permitted for international students. So approximately around 45,500 plus jobs are available each year for MBA degree holders in Australia. And in Australia, over 6,000 plus vacancies are available to finance MBA graduates each year. So there is one more thing associated in the MBA program and that is National Office of Overseas Skills Recognition List. So it might be difficult for international students to study in Australia due to the lack of recognition of foreign institutions. So it is recommended that students evaluate their credentials before applying to MBA programs at Australian universities. So your credentials will be evaluated and compared with the Australian educational standards. Okay, now try to understand this with an example that an aspirant seeking admission to Melbourne Business School who completed his bachelor's degree from University of A category in India and scored 70% is equivalent to another aspirant who completed his bachelor's degree from a University of B category and scored 75%. I hope now you understood it. 
Now, talking of admission requirements for MBA programs in Australia, then for international students to be eligible for an MBA, they must achieve at least 60% at the undergraduate level, have a minimum of two years of work experience, and have adequate English language proficiency. Now, let me tell you about all of these in detail. So, the MBA program at most universities lasts two years. However, many universities are now offering one year MBA programs like uh, Melbourne Business Schools. And uh, here's a list of MBA programs offered by some of the top business schools. Now, English language intensive courses for overseas students are the equivalent of English language courses in Australia for students who do not meet the PTE, TOEFL, or IELTS English language requirements. Now, students who need English language proficiency for university, vocational school, or work may enroll in any course under L Trainings for Good PTEs course. Now, students can choose any course depending on their requirements. For more information about English language intensive courses for overseas students, you can visit their official website. The link I'll put in the description below. So, this was the first part of study MBA in Australia. In part 2 of the video, you will get to know about eligibility requirements for MBA programs in Australia, costs of doing it, financial aid and scholarships, salary after completing MBA, skill shortage list, and Australia work visa after MBA. So stay tuned for more information. Any doubts or queries, you can ask in the comment section below. Thank you. With every passing day, more and more students are joining Edutrainix's highly successful PT courses, which are very result-oriented yet inexpensive, which you can join from anywhere in the world and realize your dreams of studying or settling abroad. So if you're struggling with your English test requirements, join us today for guaranteed success.